Amber Heard was captured talking about Johnny Depp's past relationship with Kate Moss during their ongoing defamation trial. The actress took the stand of her own and talked about one of her fights with Depp, which took place in March 2015. She said that she thought about Kate Moss and stares during her argument with Depp, which also involved her sister. Amber Heard said she attacked Depp with a can of Red Bull and shouted at him. This incident provoked him to become more furious. She then claimed that Depp followed her up a staircase and grabbed her when her sister Whitney got into the fight. The Aquaman star also said that Depp threw his hands at Whitney, which made her think about Kate Moss stairs incident. Amber Heard claimed that the situations forced her to hit Depp for the first time during their relationship. She said Whitney threw herself in the line of fire and was trying to stop Johnny. Her back was put to the staircase when Depp swung at her. She didn't hesitate much and tried to counterattack. Amber claimed she, for the first time, hit Depp right in the face. Up to that point in their relationship, she hadn't even landed anything on Depp. She also said that Depp looked stunned and that he jumped towards her before security staff tried to stop her. Amber Heard's statement went viral as many people started to debate over her message. Well, a video of Johnny Depp's lawyer Ben Chu punching the air in excitement during the case also appeared on social media. Fans pointed out that Chu's post was shared especially because Heard opened the door for the lawyers to speak about past connections, which later appeared to be a drawback for the actress as she once arrested for domestic violence against her partner in 2009. Well, if you don't know about the Johnny Depp and Kate Moss's staircase incident, we are here to help you out. During the 2020 UK defamation trial between Johnny Depp and The Sun, Amber Heard said that she heard rumors about the actor dragging Kate Moss down the stairs while they were dating. Amber said Depp pushed Kate Moss down the stairs. And this is what she has heard this from two different people, which is also still quite fresh in her mind. Heard later said that the rumored incident provoked her to hit Depp to protect her sister Whitney while they were engaged in a staircase fight in 2015. She claimed she reacted in defense of her sister. She had been Johnny's punchback for years, but had never hit him. It was the first time after all these years that she struck him back. Depp's lawyer Eleanor Laws also responded to her statement. He said, You have added the details about Kate Moss. It is not included in any document. You did not speak of anything about Kate Moss being in your mind. You are just making this up as you go along. This is the first time that you have cited it. When Kate Moss never talked about the rumors and did not share information about Depp's behavior during their romance, the actor's former partner Vanessa Paradis rejected these claims of Depp being abusive while they were together. Kate Moss also said that on that day, Depp and she left the room where she slipped and fell down the stairs and hurt her back. Johnny Depp went before her and there was a rainstorm. She said she shouted loudly as she couldn't realize what had happened and was feeling extreme pain. The good thing was, Johnny Depp ran to help her, took her back to the room and got her medical attention. She also said that Depp never threw, kicked or pushed her downstairs. Johnny Depp and Kate Moss met each other in 1994. The couple was introduced by their mutual friend George Wayne in New York before they started a highly publicized relationship. Kate also shared that they both had a spark right from the moment they met each other. However, the actress reflected that their relationship lost its charm before they broke up in 1998. During a 2012 interview with Vanity Fair, Moss said her separations from Depp was a nightmare. She said, There's nobody that's ever really been able to take care of her. Johnny did for a bit. She believes in what he said. Like if she said, What do I do? He'd definitely tell her. And that's what she missed when Depp left her. Kate Moss really lost that person she could trust and it was years and years of crying. Johnny Depp took the responsibility for his split with Moss while talking about his relationship. Depp said he has never got that emotional connections over a woman before. He was stupid because they had so much in their relationship and he is the person who has to take responsibility for what happened as it was difficult to move on. However, he allowed his work to get in the way and didn't give her the attentions that he should have. Before their split, Deb was arrested for socking a hotel room in 1994. At the time, the couple was also photographed while shouting at each other. However, Kate Moss was not injured during the incident and the criminal court dismissed the charges after Deb paid the hotel an amount of $9,767 in compensation. Depp and Moss officially ended their relationship in 1998. Kate Moss was asked about Johnny Depp and this is what she said. I was always impressed by his kindness, his brilliant mind, his talent, and his sense of humor. I have seen Johnny in different situations, and he is always kind to everyone. He is one of the most generous people I know. Moss also appeared on Desert Island Disc, a BBC Radio 4 show, where she told the presenter that she knew the truth about Johnny Depp, and he also never pushed her down the stairs, which is why the truth had to come out one day. 
What's your take on Kate Moss and Johnny Depp's relationship? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. With that being said, it's time to end our video. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button to get our latest updates. We will see you soon. Thank you for watching.